also happening right now in Buffalo, federal indictments have just been announced in connection to the recent violence that happened during protests here in the Queen City a few nights ago. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Gilap Malamud live downtown now with new information from federal prosecutors tonight. Gilap. Yeah. Yeah, Keith, several law enforcement agencies just gave updates to violence incidents in the city over the weekend. The U.S. attorney made the distinction between, quote, legitimate protesters and, quote, evil elements. Cortland Renford, who set fire to City Hall, faces 5 to 20 years in prison. The people involved with the SUV that ran into a crowd on Bailey Avenue face a maximum of 10 years in prison. The U.S. attorney says firearms were found in that vehicle. And this morning, the FBI made a sex trafficking arrest at the corner of Hurt and Albert. 41-year-old Michael McDonald of Buffalo faces 15 years to life in prison. Law enforcement says he was at the Saturday protest in Niagara Square and advocated for burning down the city on social media. He was also seen standing on top of a van. U.S. Attorney James P. Kennedy says while the sex trafficking and social media posts are unrelated, it hastened the arrest. He was not charged with anything related to these protests. He was charged with sex trafficking, which obviously with a 15-year mandatory minimum sentence is a very um, serious crime. As I said in my comments, our arrest of him was hastened by some of the activities we saw uh, online. The ATF was also present and says 12 long guns are still missing from the Metro Loan pawnbroker on Broadway. The shop was looted over the weekend. They're asking anyone for information to contact BPD or ATF. And the U.S. attorney says there's a huge undertaking of looking into outside people coming in to incite violence. Live in Niagara Square, Gilat Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.